In today's video, we're exploring One Calendar. It's a simple but fantastic tool for OneNote users looking to streamline their note organization. If you ever felt like you were losing track of your notes, or if you find yourself shifting through notes for dates or wishing you had a clearer view of when you took those notes, One Calendar will solve for that. This video will walk you through downloading, installing, and utilizing One Calendar its fullest. This may just change how you approach your note organization. Before we jump into enhancing your OneNote with One Calendar, there is an important initial setup to ensure you're fully prepared. You'll need to download and install OneTastic for Windows. OneTastic is a multi-purpose add-in for OneNote that's required for running One Calendar. And don't worry, it's free for the basic plan and it's pretty straightforward to install. I'll guide you through the process and once OneTastic is set up and running on your system, you'll be ready to integrate One Calendar into your OneNote. And for your info, I am using Windows 11 and the latest OneNote app. To download OneTastic, go to getonetastic.com slash download. You'll be presented with two download options, one for 32-bit and the other for 64-bit. If you're not sure which one to download, go to your Windows search box and type in about your PC. Then check your system type to see whether you're operating on 32 or 64-bit. For me, it's going to be the 64-bit, so we'll choose download OneTastic 64-bit. You'll need to agree with the license terms and click on download again. Once download is complete, click open and that'll install the program, which happens very quickly. You can click on start OneNote. Now, if you look up top in the home tab, you'll see a new group that has been added, one for OneTastic and one for the macros. Now we're ready to download one calendar. Let's return to getonetastic.com slash download and choose download one calendar. Again, check the box to agree with the license terms, click download, then open the file to run. All right, now you can see that one calendar is nestled right within OneNote, accessible through the OneTastic group within the OneNote home tab. Simply click on it to launch it. Let me drag it over and enlarge it. You can see that it integrates directly with your OneNote, bringing all your notes into a calendar view based on their dates. And a little bit of warning for you, I do notice that sometimes the calendar does take a few minutes to refresh. Uh, I noticed that notes from my personal notebook seems to always appear first, then my notes from my work notebook, which is linked to a separate Microsoft 365 account, appear just a few moments later. If I don't see all my notes, I hit the sync button to refresh. Let's try that now. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm only sharing my personal notes and I've hidden my work notes from view so that I don't inadvertently share sensitive information. But you can see that one calendar brings a dynamic dimension to your OneNote experience, allowing you to bypass the default hierarchical system of notebooks, sections, and pages, and allowing you to find notes by date. Now you're seeing all the notes that I created and modified this month. And the text that you see on each grid, they're the note page titles. So if I hover, you can see the thumbnail preview of the content. And if I click on it, it'll, let me drag it over. You'll see the actual note in OneNote. Now, if I had more notes on a given day that can fit in this box, you would see a little triangle that I can click on to scroll down and a triangle on top that I can click to scroll up. Now, in terms of the display, as you can see, you're looking at a month view, but I can click on this middle icon for the weekly view and then this last icon for the daily view. So I'm going to go back to the month and you also have different navigation options. So the first obvious one is we're in March 2024. I can click back to navigate to the prior months uh, and I can click on this calendar to bring me back to the current day. Now on the right hand corner, I can navigate to the different year. Okay. And then different months within the year. So January, February, March, so on and so forth. I think being able to view your notes this way is super helpful. Generally speaking, notes that were taken recently will be more relevant to us. And this calendar view lets us see what notes we took this month, this week, yesterday, uh, all at a glance. 
The notes that I took six months ago may not be so useful now unless I need to reference it for a very specific purpose. But let's say you want to take a trip back down memory lane. It's so simple to view your notes on a timeline even if the notes weren't filed away in their appropriate place in the notebook. Let's go back in time to let's say 2017, I don't know, September. Let's see what we have here. I see we have a couple of notes on DaVinci Resolve. And I see that I bought a, a Panasonic Lumix G7 camera. So clearly I was interested in making videos long before I started to make these YouTube tutorials. And if we want to go even further back to 2010, July, and you can see I've been using OneNote for a very long time and I have all these notes, which is kind of amazing. And looking at a couple of the notes here, you know, this is when I was working for Burberry. So I see that I have a couple of notes from back in the days. And what else we have? Anything interesting? I don't know. Looks like I took a vacation uh, to Cancun. So there you go. Trip down memory lane. Normally, I would never search for these notes. They would be buried and never to be rediscovered. But with a calendar view, I can travel back in time to see what I was focused on at any given time. Now I'm going to come back to the current day. And if you want to customize your settings, we can click on this gear icon. Now you have a few different options here. You can change the font size. You can either select them from the list or you can use a keyboard shortcut. And you have the option to choose what shows on your calendar, notes based on their created date or notes based on their last modified date. I have them both checked. And for themes, dark mode or light mode, you do need a pro subscription for this, which I don't have. So if I try to click on this, it tells you if I want to activate it, I need a pro or a dev license. It's fine. And then you do have the option to run multiple instances of the calendar. So you can have a calendar for one month and calendar for another month showing on two different windows, uh, but you could force it to run a single instance only if you choose. Uh, you can also change the default settings so that your week starts on a Monday versus a Sunday. And as you saw earlier, if you hover your mouse cursor over a note title, then it'll show a thumbnail preview. You can turn that off if you like. And if I choose show section names, let's actually try that. Uh, it'll show which section the note belongs to. So you can see that my LinkedIn recommendation note is sitting within my career section. And then the, the, the generic March 2024 note is within my receipts section. For me, this view is cluttered. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And then you have the different language options and uh, notebooks. Okay. So right now I'm only showing notes that belong in my personal notebooks. I'm using the para framework. If you want to know more about that, I have a video on it. I'll link, link it in the description below, but uh, if I wanted to show all my work notes, uh, I would be either clicking these checkboxes here or I can just select all notebooks. Now, if we go back to the calendar view, now we do have a few additional options here, but they both require pro license. So the first is the ability to sort pages on how they show up for each day. And the other you saw inside the custom menu, which is your theme, dark or light. And lastly, we have the search box. So if you do want to search for notes within this calendar view, it doesn't actually search for different months or year. It's only searching through what is showing on this page. So if I were to type in, let's say inspection, you can see that it finds it. It not only finds the keywords within the page title, but also within the content of the note as well. As we wrap up, you've now seen how one calendar can streamline your note organization process in one note, really offering an accessible timeline view of your work. If you found this walkthrough helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends who might also benefit. And if you have questions or insights about one calendar, please drop it in the comments below. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more productivity contents like this. Thank you and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.